Action! How close are we? All right, we're going to go here in about five. Incredible explosions, death-defying stunts, and non-stop thrills made Atomic Train the hottest action movie ever made for television. For Rob Lowe, making this movie was more than just the standard lights, camera, and action. Excuse me. Hey, hi. who's in charge right now? Uh, that would be me. John Seeger, I'm with the NTSB. Listen, we have a railroad emergency in the area. Listen, this is a big, fat action movie. There's, there's, no, there's no getting around it. This movie has what I really like in my entertainment. It has gigantic action. Gigantic. Heck, believe me, I have the bruises, the bruises to prove it. Rob is no stranger to big budget Hollywood movies, but starring as an action adventure hero was brand new territory. It's a very physical part. It's certainly the most physical part that I've ever done. It's just a tremendously logistically, physically difficult piece, and it's not, you know, this kind of acting, they don't they don't teach you this at the actor's studio. I mean, this this is true movie acting. Are you planning on getting down there? I was hoping you could figure that out. Look, I got a rope ladder in the back you can hook up. I'll try to match the speed of the train and then uh, lower you down. Oh, well, that sounds easy. The only mark. The film also stars Isai Morales and Kristen Davis, who were impressed at the enormous size and detail of this production. Oh, no. It will be unlike anything else. I think we can honestly say that in scope and in visuals. Basically, you get everything in this movie. You got 80 characters, you got about as many special effects, and uh, this kind of stuff you see on big blockbusters. I thought it was gonna all be CGI, computer graphics and stuff like that, but uh, what it is is uh, pretty amazing. They're putting me out there on the side of the train, 3,000 feet above the riverbed. The next day, I, had a, a, I was hanging from a, a, a ladder lowered from a helicopter on top of the engine. No! And then the next shot after that, I was at the end of a 200-foot crane arm being swung up over the top of this being sort of bashed against the side. And I'm a physical person. I'm comfortable doing it. I'm comfortable around trains. It's exciting for me. Uh, but it's not green screen. It's not a stuntman. It's, it's me. As an actor, some of these stunts can be dangerous. With Rob literally putting his life on the line, it was up to stunt coordinator Charles Andre to make sure he stayed out of harm's way. He's got guts. He's got guts to do stuff that trained professional stunt performers do. And we actually have Rob Lowe hanging off the side of the train. At times, I had to yell to him, get in, get in, because if you lean out, you could lose an arm. I'm back up! Go, cowboy. I think jumping between the cars was amazing uh, because it, it was absolutely real. And, uh, you know, I, I had a tether on me that would keep me from going under the wheels. Um, but, you know, I mean, it was, it was pretty hairy, but it was fun. The shot is amazing. It's going to look great in the movie. I mean, and that's what's going to elevate this, 
movies, people are gonna watch and they're gonna, holy, that, that was him. Rob became pretty comfortable hanging off the side of a moving train, but when it came to do the big helicopter stunt, that was a different story. Technically, the most dangerous is the helicopter transfer to the train. Um, if there is a, a mechanical problem, the stunt performer and the helicopter pilot are dead. There's absolutely no way around that. I was able to jump between two moving train cars over the wheels at, at about 50 miles an hour, and that wasn't a problem for me. But just to be in a moving helicopter, I was like, get my stunt, man. I'm going to be in my trailer. <laughs> my, I just have like tons of adrenaline going through my body. My, my whole body is shaking. In order to make Rob's debut as a Hollywood stuntman a little easier, the producers brought in Dave Gauthier and his special effects team. We've had the helicopters landing on top of trains. We've had to put uh, locomotives together hydraulically smashing into cabooses uh, with Rob Lowe uh, dangling from the couplers and getting them close while the train is speeding down tracks. Uh, we've had, uh, you name it, we've done it. Above and beyond the spectacular mechanical effects, the producers wanted to create something never seen before. It took Dave and his crew three weeks to prepare for the biggest explosion ever filmed for television. Well, this explosion will include uh, approximately 75 six ounce black powder lifters, 250 gallons of diesel in separate five gallon containers with 175 containers of gasoline, all wired together with non-electric uh, explosives. This is definitely a wonder. This is the true wonder. The train wreck will be gone after we press that final button. Light the fire! That's what it comes down to. What a great eight seconds, huh? <laughs> One of the biggest scenes shot for the movie is the climactic train derailment. To make this a reality, Academy Award-winning miniature effects creator Gene Warren was brought in. This is a big one, as models go. It's a six-scale set, a six-scale train that uh, we covered it with seven cameras to cut the end of night one sequence. All right, so everybody in position, please. Okay. Joe Viscasil, best known for his work on the blockbuster hit Independence Day, was the film's pyrotechnic specialist. My job is to make the small look big, and that's the miniature pyrotechnic aspect of this. And the key to it is to make it look big, but not too big. You know, uh, size does matter in that sense. We are hot and ready. Okay, roll camera. We start off with uh, the train hitting the, the uh, berm of the, the mountain here, comes over it and hits the uh, magazine where they store all the explosives. And then it, the train keeps on going and into the, uh, what is now the X lumber yard. We've got it all. We have the runaway train, we have the, the uh, derailment of the train, we have the wreck, we have the, uh, the firestorm, we have uh, an atomic explosion, we have the looting, we have the rioting. <laughs> we pretty much covered it. 